Since the dawn of time, the cowbell has been an essential part of our world. Early man saw its shape in stone and both worshipped and feared it. The Mayan priests believed it had healing powers and built temples in its honor. But as ancient civilizations crumbled, the true purpose of the cowbell became lost. Modern man used it only as a means to keep track of cattle. During the summer of 1967, war and civil rights were on everybody's mind. But peace, love, and rock and roll were in their hearts. In San Francisco, the music scene was exploding. Guitars were getting louder and more distorted. Bands were experimenting with new sounds and substances. One sound in particular started to emerge. What was once a faint clank in the background became a prominent instrument of the time. The secret weapon a band would use to take their songs to the next level. Like bacon bits on a salad, the cowbell proved to be the key to making a song extraordinary. The cowbell soon became a rock and roll staple, and one man stood out as the champion of this sound. He played with the ferocity of a wild animal and precision of a surgeon, boldly taking cowbell where no one has gone before. This is his story. Our hero walks the streets of a small town. He feels out of place here. He has a boring job and a boring life. But he has a dream, a driving force inside him. The crowd cheering, the glow of the stage lights, the smoke in the air, and the sound of the cowbell. He sets up on a street corner, waiting for an audience.
A beautiful woman walks past our hero leaving the diner. She glances back at him and smiles. Who is this woman? And what is she doing in a dump like this? The diner is filled with bratty looking kids and uptight adults. Our 
hero stands at the edge of town waiting for a ride.
strange colors and stars begin to swirl around our hero. A large funnel of smoke rises from the fire pit, lifting him up into the clouds. Our hero is flying over the desert, ascending into the clouds. He comes to rest in a groovy looking throne room in the sky. A being sits on a huge gilded throne. Around him is a host of strange looking people, partially obscured by the clouds. The wonderful sound of rock and roll is in the air, as if all the angels in heaven were rocking in harmony. The God of rock and roll. He sits upon the throne, wise in years. His words are like a groovy melody being carried throughout the heavens. The God of glam. He is a strange being that looks like he was created from the stars themselves. The God of metal. He looks like he was forged in the fires of rock and roll. The God of blues. He is an older looking being in an old dark suit. He has a guitar slung over his shoulder that shines like gold. The God of Funk. He sports a bright purple outfit full of symbols. He has a deep voice, as if he was bass personified. The God of Guitar. He is a groovy, soulful being whose guitar towers over our hero and disappears into the clouds.